guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great day trading today. So this morning we did open with a gap up and we gapped right into this Grinch gap close to the top of the implied move. And then from there we came down and we did fill that gap around noon and that was near the five minute 200 moving average. We did chop around that level for a little while before we dropped lower and we did hit that downtrend and this downtrend is off of the highs of the year. Um, sorry, it's the downtrend off of all time highs and then the highs of the year in July. And on Monday, we did dip underneath that, but then got pulled back up above that downtrend. Then Tuesday, we did see support there. And today we did crash through it. So we did close underneath that level today. And we did close down 0.40%. VIX came up 0.78%. And we did trade completely within the implied move today. And then from where we opened today, to where we closed was down almost 1%, 0.95%. All right, let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 452 and 457 and that is from options and the 30 day average volatility is about twice as wide it goes from 449 to 460 and tomorrow's trading range is really interesting in that the big level that we've been trading around the downtrend off of all-time highs and then the highs in july is right in the middle of tomorrow's trading range directly in the middle for the entire day that level is off of all-time highs in january and then we did see that again in july this year and then that level is right where we're at almost to the penny and you can see clearly that since we came up to that level uh, this is november 20th uh, we did see that level here on the 22nd the 24th the 27th the 28th the 29th the 30th the first the fourth and then again today and then earlier in the beginning here it was a little bit more of a resistance then last week we did get above it and it was starting to show a support and this week as well but today we got back underneath that level so super important level if it's not on your chart then I don't know what is even wrong with you <laughs> that's going to be the most important level tomorrow and then to the upside the first level to look for is going to be the five minute 200 moving average. I don't always have the five minute on the chart, but we don't have anything else in the implied move and it really has been in every day. I would flip back over to the five, uh, five day chart, the five minute candle, and um, that five minute 200 moving average is right there. And then if we can get above it and then maybe see a support there, then start looking up and outside of tomorrow's trading range um, well it's in tomorrow's trading range but outside of the implied move the next level to look for is going to be this Grinch gap that we opened on Monday and we gapped down and then Monday we didn't get into that gap at all and then Tuesday we got into it a little bit and then got pushed out Today we pushed, uh, we actually opened in that gap and got pushed out right away. So this gap so far is holding as a resistance and it's protecting the new highs that we made on uh, last Friday, the 459.65. So that is to the upside. And of course the top of the implied move is also a level as we do tend to close within the implied move about 85 to 90% of the time. So that's the upside, and then to the downside, the first level is the, um, okay, so I'm, I'm looking right here. That is where we dipped under on Monday. We saw support around uh, just above 454, 
And then underneath that, we have the 30 minute 200 moving average. And this is the first time that it's in the implied move since we gapped over it uh, on the, in the first week of November. And um, that was right here. We gapped up and that was actually um, after FOMC. This was FOMC right here. We gapped up right before it. And then right after it, we gapped above the uh, 200, 30 minute 200 moving average. That is right underneath where we closed today. And then underneath that, we also have a gap right here. This was from the day before Thanksgiving. We gapped up and then we have been trading above that gap ever since. And you can see where it has held as a support level. So that is um, around 453. And then if we do break 453, we really don't have much going on in the implied move or the trading range. The next level underneath is going to be uh, 448 right here. That was when we had that big $6 gap after CPI. And then we found support right here and then pushed higher. So 448 is the next level if we break these support levels right here. Just overall a really interesting trading range. I'm looking forward to this one. I don't know why. I will have this chart out on TradingView tonight. I'll post that link in the first comment. And if I missed anything, please let me know. And have fun, trade safe, make sure you take profits when you're up, and I will see you guys tomorrow night.